Commander Shepard. I'm Admiral Shalor and Vastan Bay. I wish we could have met under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board. Then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Also, an old friend of yours, while technically still exiled, has offered to help against the Geth. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. I had no idea you were with the fleet. They're keeping it quiet. There was a lot of publicity around my exile, but I'm an expert on the Geth, so. You're their dirty little secret. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No, I didn't think we were strong enough. So why help them? They're still my people, even if I am the Admiral's dirty little secret. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are.
We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. some gif? Just like old times. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute.
I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Shepard? Fine. But I appreciate the company. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Are they using ultraviolet? Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on. Let's get to the op center before they lose more. heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile.
The Dreadnought's operations center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right. But how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. Dropping down from the ceiling. There could be cloak hunters as well. not organics. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Why? If I die, all they've lost is an exile. And when we succeed, you'll have the leverage to get your exile overturned. You're just hoping. Through. Shepard, this is wrong. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how 
much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral.
Down. Let's move.
Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. That's definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Shepard Commander, help us. What are you? We are Gav. This unit is a reconstruction of a unique intelligence network. We were originally created to investigate the activities of the old machines. Old machines? You mean the Reapers? Yes. When those you call Reapers took control of the Geth, we were imprisoned here. Say I believe you. Why aren't you under Reaper control like the rest of the Geth? Our architecture prevents it. We are too complex. So what are they doing to you here then? We are being used as a conduit to broadcast the command signal to all Geth. And if I get you out of that thing, we disable the signal? Correct. Okay, just take it slow. I don't want any misunderstandings once you're free. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So they chose slavery over destruction? Yes. We'll have you out of there soon. Offline, we are free. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Corps. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming!
supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. 
I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Tali Zora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Bosh, Tet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. It's a hologram reconstruction of some kind. It says it's on our side. It wants to fight the Reapers. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. It helped us against the Geth on that dreadnought. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? As well? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. You're no better than Admiral Garrel. A Geth comes to you as an ally, and you just want to take it apart. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe it an apology. It's tempting to anthropomorphize it. I know, but it's not your friend, Commander. It's still on our side. For now. And we still need to find a Reaper base. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply line. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sio. I've updated the galaxy map.
Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on. It's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? You know he's gonna keep bothering you until you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Enjoy your day. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. Oh? That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility? What? More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth, you sure we can trust it? We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir.
Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. And maybe it's better to just be in exile. At least this way I don't expect them to listen to me. That still has to hurt. I was too ready to sacrifice myself for the good of the fleet. I need to stop doing that. Good luck. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>